Hey guys, I'm Mark. I'm in PAX East right now and I'm here to tell you about Rolling Country's legend. So Brother Country's Legend is an online co-op shooter RPG. You meet with your friends in a city called the Secret Market, you go out on adventures, you find loot, you level up, hopefully you make new friends and you do it again. Brother Country's Legend is a shooter, but it's also an RPG. It's a full-fledged RPG. You can not only play online co-op with up to four friends and shoot a lot of space docks, uh, they also drop a lot of loot, and we take loot very seriously. Uh, there's a lot of gear slots, and the, the gears has random nav fixes, and then there's a full elemental damage system. There's a lot of that to the RPG part of the game. I've been making games for over 10 years now. I've released Dungeon Land, I work on Chroma Squad, uh, we did Relic Country Zero. And now we're doing Relic Country's Legend, which is actually our first sequel. Uh, Relic Country Zero, such a small game released in 2015. It got a massive success, over 1 million players around the world, and got, got us excited about the future of Relic Country's. I played so many games as I grew up, like I was such a game nerd. But uh, probably the games that struck with me the most were action RPGs. Uh, the first Diablo, wow, when I saw that. I played probably thousands of hours of the first Diablo. Back then you couldn't keep track, uh, thankfully, to hide my shame. Uh, I played Diablo 2 a lot, 3. Uh, recently, the Borderlands, uh, Destiny, Warframe a lot. Uh, I've been playing a lot of loot-based games all my life. Part of what inspired us to make Relic Hunters Legend was the success of Relic Hunters Zero and how people responded. We knew that we had something special there. The characters, the colors, the style resonated with people beyond just the numbers. We started making fan arts and being really a part of that universe when you know more about those characters. So that really energized us to go to the next level in every sense of the way. It's a bigger game, it's online, it's got a big story, like huge, huge stuff going on. And also because Honestly, this is a dream game. Like, uh, I've been making games for a long time, and always we feel like, okay, let's do this because this is something that we can do right now. But this time we went all in. Like, we want to build this dream game that we always wanted to do. This is it. I feel like this is the game that we have always meant to make. So Relic Hunters, uh, in general, Halo was a big influence. Uh, the way the combat works and the way the enemies move and things like that is very much influenced by Halo. Uh, I know that Batu, the artist who did the, the first Relic Hunters with me, uh, he's influenced by a whole lot of stuff um, in art and, and in games. But for us, mostly uh, it was Halo uh, and top-down shooters, like a lot of top-down shooters. Yeah, there were quite a bit of non-game influences. Uh, in Brazil, like we have a, a mix of a lot of different cultures. So um, we we grew up watching like in the same card Saturday morning card show. Uh, we would watch the Ninja Turtles, and then we watch like Dragon Ball Z, and then we watch Super Sentai, and everything like back to back, you know. And I think all of that pop culture that we in Brazil got from around the world, not just the U.S. Uh, it, you can see that in everything that we do, and in Relic Hunters, I think we kind of gel all of these things. You see a little bit of anime there, you see a little bit of like Cartoon Network kind of style of characters, and old school, uh, old school Saturday morning cartoons, things like that. Uh, we started working on the game uh, soon after we released Relic Hunters Zero, uh, about early 2016. So. About uh, two years ago, almost one year and a half, and it was a really small team, basically me and one more guy. Uh, then last year we got more people involved, we did a Kickstarter, and after the Kickstarter was successful, uh, we managed to increase our team, so today we're nine people, and we hope to grow more, because this is a super ambitious game, it's by far the most ambitious game of our careers, and we want to have a team that is up to par with the challenge. So the game is in Unity, so it's written in C-Sharp. 
Well, Unity is the one that we use to build the game. Uh, we also use uh, 3D tools, uh, such as uh, Blender. We use image software like uh, GIMP to edit images, things like that. Uh, and we are remote team, so the remote collaboration tools are the most important to us. Uh, we use Lack a lot. Uh, we use Bitbucket to store our things. We use Coco and Zoom to connect with each other. Oh boy, uh, I think I learned something new every day making this game. Uh, in, a, in a sense, it's very comfortable in a way that I feel like everything that we've done before has been a stepping stone to do this. So if you prepare, on the other hand, like every day is a new challenge. Uh, so far we're doing, I think, super good. There has been moments of doubt. Lately, things seem to be going our way uh, very much. And we're super confident and excited about the future. Video game development, uh, most of the time super boring. Uh, the Kickstarter campaign was a wild, wild ride. Uh, the first week was super um, exciting and then shocking and then we were super afraid things that were not gonna work out. By the end it was like a struggle like every day. So that was by far the most crazy thing was running the Kickstarter. Never gonna, that, never gonna do that ever again, honestly. Uh, but it was worth it. Uh, our Kickstarter back is specifically, uh, they're being amazing, really supportive of us, believe in our team, really understanding of the difficulties of game development. And we try to be as open as possible with them. So I feel like uh, this is like the seed of our community. Hopefully if the game gets really big one day, it'll be all because of these people. And uh, we're very grateful. This is my first time at PAX. Um, it's been a super interesting experience. I was just telling uh, you guys behind the camera how um, how different it is to actually like be in the middle of gaming culture, but in person. Because uh, online, gaming culture gets such a bad rap, right? There's so much toxicity and negativity sometimes. And here at PAX, the energy is so positive, so good. So it's so nice to like meet people face to face, talking about games. It's kind of a reminder of how awesome games are. And uh, for us, it's super inspiring. We're going back home to Brazil on Monday. Like, we can't wait to sit down and just make games. Definitely, yes. <laughs> we'll definitely come back to Uh The best way for you to learn about the game is going to our website. Uh, we're going to umbrellacountries.com.br. Uh, and also joining our Discord community. We are verified on Discord. You can go to discord.gg slash Relic Hunters. Uh, the community is super active, they're super friendly and nice, and they'll tell everything you need to know.